Hello, and welcome to Cirex Weighing Technology. In this video, I would like to show you how to calibrate and dose with the WP351's web server. In this video, I will only show you the most important parameters in the web server for calibration and dosing. The Cirex WP351 can, of course, be set individually to the scale application through further parameter settings. In order to work with the web server, it must first be activated in the TIA portal. To do this, I first add the WP351 to the ET200SP station in the device configuration. The web server must then be activated on the module by ticking the box. A username, an access level and a password are then assigned. In my case, I define a user with the name Cirex with read and write access rights and a password. The username and password will then be required later when logging into the web server. The IP address of the WP351 is specified under Ethernet parameter. This IP address will also be required later to access the web server. The WP351 is delivered from the factory with the IP address 192.168.0.21. This IP address is fine with me and I don't have to change the IP address here. The device configuration is then recompiled in the TIA portal and transferred to the CPU. I have already loaded the device configuration into my CPU. The WP351 is now connected to the PC via its Ethernet port. After connecting the WP351 to the PC via an Ethernet cable, I start a browser. Preferably Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome should be used. The IP address of the WP351 that was previously defined in the device configuration in the TIA portal is now simply entered in the input field. In my case, it is the IP address 192.168.0.21. Then the start screen of the WP351 web server opens. At the top right, you can choose the language between German and English. On the left side, I can now log in with the username and password that was previously defined in the device configuration. In my case, this is the user Cirex with my corresponding password. In the web server, I go to Commissioning on the left and select Data Record 3 Calibration Parameter. I have a load cell with a nominal load of 20 kilos with a load cell characteristic value of 2 millivolts per volt and a calibration weight of 1 kilo. In data record 3, I therefore specify a scale interval for weighing range 1 of 0.001 kilos. This means that the WP351 will later show me the weight value in kilos with three decimal places. In my case, that is to the gram. Since I have a calibration weight of one kilo, I specify one kilo as calibration weight one. The calibration weight zero remains at zero because I would like to see zero kilos later when the scale is empty. Please note that you have to use a minimum calibration weight with regard to the nominal load of all load cells. At first, I only change data record 3 in the editor. Different parameter settings for the WP351 are then displayed in red. This means the next thing I have to do is transfer my change data record 3 to the WP351. To do this, I have to switch on the service mode. If the service mode is switched on, 
a red open end wrench appears in the top right of the web server. Then I can transfer data record 3 to the WP351 via editor write data record. Next, the load cell characteristic value of the load cell is checked in data record 10. My load cell has 2 millivolts per volt. This already corresponds to the factory setting in the WP351. This means I don't have to change anything at this point. If the scale is empty, I now execute the command set calibration point zero. Then I place the calibration weight on the scale and execute the command set calibration point one. Since the calibration digits have now been updated within the WP351 and the old calibration digits are still available in the editor, the current data record 3 must be read back into the editor from the WP351. This is done via online and read data record. The current data record 3 is now available again in the editor. The service mode can now be switched off again and the calibration weight removed from the scale. The calibration is now finished. To prepare for dosing, the set point to be dosed is specified under additional parameters in data record 20. In my case, I choose one kilo as the target weight. In data record 22 tolerance parameters, two tolerance bands can be specified for a dosage. At the end of a dosing, the WP351 carries out a tolerance check regarding the dosed actual value for the target value. The corresponding tolerance bits are then set during the tolerance check. I will show you later, after a dosage, which bits are meant exactly. The fine weight and the trailing weight fine are specified in data record 23 material parameters. In my case, I specify 0.2 kilos as the fine weight and 0.1 kilos as the trailing weight fine. To do this, I first select absolute in weight unit as the parameter reference, 0.2 kilos as the fine weight, and 0.1 kilos as the trailing weight fine. Then I write the change data record 23 to my WP351. Data record 25, dosing device parameters, specifies which action the WP351 should carry out when starting the dosing. The WP351 is set to with automatic tearing at the factory. This means that at the beginning of a dosing, the WP351 automatically tears to zero kilos before the coarse and fine flow signals are sent. In my case, I don't change anything about this setting. At the end of a dosing process, you can choose whether the WP351 should empty the scales automatically or not. In my case, no automatic emptying is selected. I also leave this parameter as it is set. Before I start a dosage right now, I first select the scale status from the magnifying glass symbol in the web server. In the scale status, you can find important information about the individual weighing steps and the individual dosing signals, such as coarse and fine signals, as well as the bits for tolerance control. I now start a dosing with the start single weighing command. The scale tears to zero kilos, then jumps to weighing step two and the coarse and fine signals are activated. At the end of the dosing, 
the corresponding tolerance bits regarding the dosed actual weight are displayed compared to the specified target weight. In my case, I finished my dosing in the good range. When the commissioning of the WP351 is complete, there is also the option of saving all parameter settings in a backup file on the PC. To do this, go to Backup Reset and then select Create Backup File. Well, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the introduction to the web server and learnt something from it.